uh, angle. Now, uh, what I want to talk is, my point of talking is, regarding this uh, naked part. This naked part is, uh, in fact, uh, it's a mark of a uh, earth slip. Occurred, uh, say, um, uh, 10 years back, that happened. Uh, this uh, particular uh, mark of that earth, earth slip. This particular earth slip occurred 10 years back. Uh, then uh, all of a sudden uh, it happened and uh, that particular the mass of uh, say soil and uh, stone and rock and everything uh, came down. Then uh, there is a uh, say at the bottom there is a uh, village, this uh, separate village. Earlier, uh, there were nearly 100 uh, families and houses located there. Uh, but uh, as a result of this uh, earth uh, slip, the government authorities wanted to uh, evacuate the particular people from their houses. Uh, why these uh, rocks and uh, other soil, earth and all? Uh, you know, mix in a in a manner of mud. It came down, ran into the bottom level village, and uh, even uh, there was a risk of damaging to the houses and lives. So the government authorities they evacuated this particular people. Uh, at the time, nearly uh, 30 houses were evacuated and uh, people were given uh, some alternative lands and uh, other related helps to, uh, I mean, build up, uh, build up their own houses. And uh, still another 30 odd uh, houses are there. Uh, and uh, they are uh, being um, noticed uh, by the authorities, same way, to evacuate their houses and even uh, they are now in the list of uh, evacuees uh, uh, under this particular uh, slip uh, event. Uh, so uh, this is, uh, you know, now uh, of course uh, this kind of uh, slips, even I will uh, come to, uh, I will show you some other events as well. This kind of uh, earth slip events, uh, you know, there may be no any uh, human activities behind. Mostly uh, people are uh, ready to uh, accuse the or analyze the matter and trace into whatever human activities have uh, taken place in the uh, past. But some cases, this kind of earth slips take place just because of natural, uh, say, um, it's a kind of uh, natural phenomena, uh, natural phenomena. So uh, then, of course, uh, no other reason this particular natural uh, phenomena has caused this kind of sudden earth slips. But here, this one also, uh, no any. Uh, uh, close by human activities, uh, they are, yes, there are some uh, plant, what do you call cultivations and on at the top of mountain, but just uh, you know not uh, close by, but maybe um, at the distance of uh, say one or two kilometers away. So uh, even then, in uh, central hills, of course, uh, there may be some. Uh, underground uh, forces and uh, water stream and all th that is true but even then apparently this may be a uh, 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 event taken uh, place as a result of natural uh, phenomena. Uh, anyway, uh, now uh, this is uh, one point I wanted to talk about and uh, even that uh, you all can notice that there is a very uh, very uh, tall uh, rock and uh, with a very uh, 
features of very uh, distinctive and uh, unique features also they are with that rock so very tall rock and uh, even um, just close to this that particular earth slip area uh, of course that 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 particular rock uh, is uh, having uh, some historical value as well uh, you know why uh, it is called galauda kanda so during the candian kingdom uh, period the candian kings this particular galauda forest it is called uh, all together galauda forest area uh, and at that particular rock is galauda uh, rock so that particular kings uh, when they face any uh, outside threat from uh, invaders or whatever they used to uh, you see um, withdraw themselves from their city candy and uh, with his uh, whatever guards and all they came and they hide uh, they hid themselves in inside this uh, forest and they take refuge at this uh, particular uh, galaud forest area so it was uh, it was having a uh, even now it has gone to history books as well as galaud kanda it is uh, in the records uh, maintained by uh, british people also this galaud is mentioned uh, clearly galaud rock and all so that is some other thing and um, Uh, other than that uh, you can uh, clearly see the randanigal reservoir of course uh, this is uh, the from candy to the mahavali river runs uh, down from candy to uh, uwa uwa means uh, to uh, via randanigal to mayangana uh, and beyond mayangana it take a turn and Uh, runs into e- uh, eastern province that's how uh, this mahavali river um, uh, runs uh, over the land uh, so uh, uh, in then uh, you see this uh, randanigal reservoir you know uh, then uh, on the um, uh, left bank of the river there are uh, uh, teldenia and uh, ududumbara electrates uh, also uh, on the right bank of the river uh, now uh, where i am now staying at anguranketa and adjoining walapane electrics are located and uh, uh, in the history there is a you know now even now this uh, road from candy to through uh, randinigala reservoir and uh, to mayangana bibila in that way uh, runs into the um, far uh, far away into the uwa uh, velas region uh, so uh, earlier in the history uh, now uh, this particular road is called mm-hmm. rajamaut you know why what is the what made uh, the authorities to name it as rajamaut was the rajamaut was a historical route from candy to uwa velasa the candian kings and other um, uh, officials and all even uh, later the british people also they traveled through this uh, particular right bank route route which is uh, over the right bank of the river it, it was called rajamaut that's why uh, it was named after the uh, particular um, history anyway uh, this uh, uh, this uh, particular uh, earlier this right bank route was not a developed one it was only a uh, say little bit uh, uh, very undeveloped route mostly the people even kings and uh, officials they travel uh, on horsebacks or on uh, you know by foot or uh, palanquins or, uh, or some other uh, 
uh, that particular traditional means they used. Uh, palanquins, uh, palanquins. Uh, of course, uh, you all know it is a box model uh, uh, body. Uh, the particular guest um, get in and uh, seated there comfortably. Then uh, four, five, or six people take the particular box uh, by their shoulders uh, with the help help of uh, some. Uh, uh, say uh, horizontal uh, poles uh, attached to the box and so that particular from the poles uh, that particular uh, four or six people, uh, persons very strong men they take the box over to their shoulders and they travel uh, that's how palanquins it was called palanquins uh, it's a uh, traditional way of uh, traveling uh, it was confined only to the uh, very uh, distinguished um, people of the history. Now this is the historical place called uh, Galauda Kanda. It is related to the uh, Candian Kingdom and uh, uh, at the time uh, that in that era uh, the king uh, used to uh, see uh, uh, escape from Candy City uh, at the time of uh, uh, some uh, in invasive threat. He used to uh, uh, say uh, withdraw from the city with uh, his uh, guards and all. Uh, they, he, uh, vid he withdrew and uh, straight away came to Hangurankita. Uh, Hangurankita was a, a famous place hideout for the Candian kings mostly the uh, from Senarat King His Excellency the His Majesty the Sen, from Senarat uh, to the last king uh, Sri Vikram Raja Singh uh, after that period this Galauda Kanda it's a, it's a Galauda rock famous rock and uh, with the height of uh, nearly uh, from the bottom up to the top uh, nearly roughly uh, 1000 feet in my assessment and uh, that's why it is it has become a historical rock uh, even uh, go on to the history books and uh, records of the British people as well and uh, even uh, you can notice uh, now all the rock now this place particular place where i am staying at the moment uh, surrounded by rocks uh, i mean uh, along with that particular famous rock galauda rock there are some other uh, nearby other rocks as well uh, uh, so, uh, not only a single rock, this is a rocky uh, a area, location, and uh, naturally uh, anyone who get the refuge here, get the uh, protection of this uh, rocky area. Uh, you can uh, uh, watch now uh, all the rocks which are in a circular way uh, surrounded uh, here that's why that may be the reason behind for the candian kings to uh, in a in a situation uh, under threat uh, uh, all, all in instantly they that that was they practiced it, it was a usual practice to uh, withdraw uh, and set the city buildings and all on fire. That, that one also, uh, according to the Candian warfare, it was a strategy. And uh, the particular king withdrew to the to Hangurankita mainly and some other Madhamahanwara, Badulla and there are some other locations as well. But mainly Hangurankita 
was a, a very um, safe hideout for the Candian kings. Uh, that's why uh, it, is, uh, it has become very popular and famous and gone to the history books as well.